In Ohio, a teenager convicted of a high school shooting that killed three students is back in custody after a daring escape overnight. T.J. Lane climbed a prison fence last night with two prison inmates. Police guarded the homes of Lane's victims in Chardon, Ohio. Paul Olowski of our Cleveland affiliate WOIO says Lane didn't get very far. Paul, good morning. Good morning. Police apprehended Lane about 100 yards from the perimeter of the fence. He was in a cornfield is what we understand. They're still trying to figure out how all of this went down. But here in Chardon, Ohio, a very disturbing and a long night for residents here because this is the place, Chardon, Ohio High School, where T.J. Lane caused such havoc. They're trying to figure out how he somehow broke loose. Which inmate? I believe it's the young one. T.J. Lane. He's in custody. After more than a six-hour manhunt, police finally captured T.J. Lane, the teenager who shot and killed three students at Chardon, Ohio High School in 2012. Well, obviously, I'm not happy that it's happened. I mean, no warden in my position would like something like this to happen. But the facts are, uh, I'm happy to announce that we have uh, Mr. Lane back in our custody. Lane escaped from Allen Correctional Facility Thursday night with two other inmates. All three have now been apprehended. He did uh, scale with uh, our perimeter fence. And again, this is an ongoing investigation. People were warned to stay inside as police pursued the dangerous escapees. Just spoke with one of the corrections officers. He advised that the two that we're trying to track down are both doing life. They've got nothing to lose here, so be alert. Two years ago, Lane opened fire inside a high school cafeteria here in Chardon. Chardon High School, we had shots fired, gun shots, multiple gunshots. He pleaded guilty and was sentenced to life in prison. People in the small town were shaken to learn of the news of his escape. I'm sure there are other people out there just as sick as him, but knowing who he is is altogether more frightening. Chardon remains a strong and resilient community that has rallied around each other before, and I'm confident that we will continue to do so now and into the future. Schools in Chardon are going to be closed today, but the buildings will be open and grief counselors made available for anyone who was reminded of that tragic day two and a half years ago. Nora. All right, Paul, thank you so much.